Death Valley Days. Now, 20 Mule Team products bring you Death Valley Days. Some men and some women are born to ride the one-way road. The best they can do is play the cards fate deals, the best they can. That's how it was when one more saddle tramp came down the Dodge City Trail and into the Golden Longhorn, with his right hand itching for his gun. Don't you ever get tired kicking men like that around? I didn't notice I was kicking anybody. Win, lose, or draw, he means trouble. All trail tramps are trouble. But his money don't hurt me a bit. He's not wearing that 45 just for decoration. He's got a chip on his shoulder 10 feet high. His kind all do. throw a big, big bluff, and they hightail it down the trail when they're called. Not that one. You ever seen him before? I've seen too many like him to need to. Dora, you've got a hole in your heart, and his kind ride right into it. When are you going to quit adopting stray cats and saddle tramps? <laughs> when they stop coming along. <laughs> Too good for the house, way too good. Looks like you're outvoted, cowboy. And who might you be? I'm what is known as the uh, proprietor of this emporium. Oh, well, you just lost the day's extra profits. Let it lay, cowboy. Cowboy, you've had your fun. Now hit the trail while you're healthy. No, you never get tired, do you? He drew first. I right, go on. My room. You get Doc Albright. Given up on him already? Might save a lot of wasted time and trouble if I did. I'd kind of imagine about now the customers are kind of missing you downstairs. 
What about him, Doc? About 50-50, if I can get the slug out of him, and if complications don't set in. Which they probably will. We'll need some whiskey. puts together a beautiful machine of muscles, bone, and flesh. Along comes a 45. There goes your fine machine. Meaning what? Meaning there's nothing I can do to ever make his gun hand work again. The boss sent me up to tell you that he's sorry, but it couldn't be helped. How'd you know what he said? That's what he always says. You mean it's happened before? It's happened before, and it'll happen again, as long as no-nothing saddle tramps keep coming down the trail. Dora, I can use a little assistance. Well, the boss said to tell you that they're asking when you're going to come down and sing. Yeah, well, tell them they'll hear me sing loud and clear on my way to the funeral. Okay, Doc, what do I do? Whichever I reach for, give it to me quick. about right now. Uh, well, if this were a hospital and he had a nurse to look after him day and night, he might pull through. Under the circumstances. What circumstances? Well, for one, if I were Mayor Kelly and I just shot a man, because if I hadn't, he would have killed me, I might be a little sensitive about having him on the premises. Well, then let's get him off the premises. And take him where? I suppose you're in favor of dumping him in the street and forgetting about him. Well, that's the course of action that common sense would recommend. If I had any common sense, Doctor, I wouldn't be where I am. And neither would you. Mm. He, uh, he can't be moved for a while. I'll look in again on him in the morning. Dora, you haven't eaten a thing all day. I thought at least you might like some coffee. Now, that's right nice of you. Maybe it'll cure what ails me. How soon will he be ready to travel? Well, the question is, where can he travel to in the shape he's in? Nobody can't stay here. Now, is that your opinion or Mayor Jim Kelly's? Both. Well, what did he ever do to you? I know, but that's not the point. Then what is? Oh, Dora, you know that his kind of gun-crazy saddle tramp is good for nothing but trouble. Yeah, it seems to me I've heard those words before. When I said them to you about uh, Bill Crawford. Bill's different. Sure, sure, you're in love with Bill. I know, but you're not in love with him. <laughs> I ran out of being in love a long way back. supposed to be angel or something thanks for the misplaced compliment I'm Dora Hand now what name do you travel under Slim Slim Kennedy I 
I can't feel my hand. It'll be all right. It better be. I'm going to need it. Now, what for, especially? Where's my 45? <sighs> you mean that second-hand hog leg you were yeah. wearing? <laughs> It's too far for you to reach. Besides, you're not going to need that anyhow. Did Bill Crawford come in tonight? Well, you know he comes in every night since we're engaged. Hey, lady, I... Now, if I was any lady, you wouldn't be sleeping in my bed. You just lay still shut up before you start bleeding again. <laughs> Bill Crawford up here. Then go find Doc Albright. Now hurry. Stand this trip? Whether he can or he can't, he's in no shape to know the difference. Dora? Oh, yeah, I'm taking the day off. For driving the country. Any objections? Some. You've already done more for him than he's likely to thank you for. I feel, I feel my hand. Now, you just lay still. You're going to be all right. Where's my gun? It's where it's going to do you no more harm. i got to kill a man. You gotta kill a man? Why? Why, you're lucky to be alive, and all you can say is you gotta kill a man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you, mister. You hear? I'm coming after you. Let's go. the last we'll see of that trail tramp. I hope you're right, Marshal. Pain in the shoulder? Yeah. It'll be stiff for a while. You were lucky that the bullet didn't shatter the bone. What about my hand? Try it. One thing I'm not is God. I can't put back muscles and nerves. You got shot out of you. You made a one hand cripple out of me. You were bound and determined to come out here and talk with him. I think now would be a fine time to do your talking. You had him do this to me. Now, I wouldn't go after your friends. If I could take credit for it, I would. Now, if it'll make you feel any better, I will. <laughs> Let's size you up, cowboy. You bucked the tiger once too often. And it cost you a hand that was bound to get you hung or killed if you kept on using it. But I still got a hand, lady. Yeah, now, you're really gonna scare Jim Kelly. Listen, lady. Now, you listen, cowboy. You could just as easy be six feet in the dirt out on Boot Hill. We dragged you here dead as a hunk of butchered beef, and Doc saved your worthless life. Now, now, Bill Crawford here's lined you up a job with the foreman. At least you'll be earning your keep. And I doubt that you ever did that before. 
and you can walk and talk and breathe and see. And when you get ready, you can ride on out of here, take every road which whatever you want to go. And nobody can make you say thanks. Thanks. <laughs> hey, you sound like you really mean that. Well, I don't. So I made another mistake. Yes. You made another mistake. Come on, let's get on back to town. Bill? Yes, ma'am? I'm counting on you. Don't let him off the reservation with a gun on him. Not if I can help it. You help it. And the sooner he's gone from here, the better. Yes, ma'am, I know. You know a lot for your age. I'm learning. <laughs> You're not, Dora. You never will. You've got a mean job on your hands. What I owe Miss Dora for the way she looked out after Nancy. Anything I can do for her, I'm going to do. Good for what ails you. Nothing ails me. That was a long trip you took today out to the Mason Ranch and back. Well, now, you do hear all the news, don't you? I'm kind of interested. How's the boy? What boy? The last one you adopted. Oh, him. Well, you don't have to worry about him anymore. I hadn't noticed I was worrying. Yeah, why should you? They're a dime a dozen. Dora, I'm going to take that load off your mind. I'm leaving on the midnight stage, business in Kansas City. I'm going to leave you in charge while I'm away. You mean you trust me not to rob the cash box? I trust you with everything I have. You know, it's a shame to leave my house standing empty while I'm away. Why don't you move in till I come back? Just till you get back. That's what I said. It's going to cost you. Hmm? They're getting married next week. It sure would be nice for Nancy to have her wedding at your place instead of here. Okay, champagne on me. And a wedding dress for Nancy. She's a tough woman to do business with. All right, Dora, you might as well move in tonight. All right, Nancy, you'll move in with me. That way I know there'll be a wedding. Dora was due to marry a cowboy way back, uh, only he never made it to the wedding. Lost a gunfight on the way. So well, that's why she takes in every stray that comes along. You'd think after getting hurt that bad once, she'd back off from it happening again. I guess you can't figure a woman. I'll buy that. I draw. Well, if I go up against him, he'll cut me down before I get a shot at him. Well, then? Well, then what? Well, if I was you, and I figured that I couldn't whip him, I'd say, well, what's the use in fighting him? That way, I'd stay healthy. Well, nobody made a one-hand cripple out of you. Slim, I'm going to have to take that gun away from you. No, you're not. I got to. I promised Miss Dora.
it'll shorten it a little bit, and that's all. Well, do you think... That... I think Bill will think you're very beautiful. So will everybody else, but he's the only one who counts. Oh, no, he's not, Dora. You've done so much for me. Like, you know... Like I was your mother? Now, do I look that old? <laughs> no, you're not old. If you live to be a hundred, you'll never be as old as I am. Kelly. He went to Kansas City. Well, how long will he be gone? About two weeks. Why? Oh, it's, uh, it's not important. You rode all the way in here from the ranch this time of night just for the exercise? All right, Marshal. I was a little worked up about Slim Kennedy. Oh, that saddle tramp you've been riding herd on for Miss Dora. I let him get loose, wearing his gun. But I guess as long as the mayor's out of town. I think Miss Dora ought to know about it anyhow. She's staying at the mayor's house while he's away. She and your bride-to-be. I'll walk over there with you. Well, there's no need. Can't do any harm. He'd ask you to marry him, if you'd let him. He's asked. Tell you what we're gonna do, Dora. We're gonna go see the preacher. Then you run the joint, and I'll run for senator. It's gonna take me time, Dora, but now I'm gonna make a lady out of you. <laughs> no, thank you, Mr. Mayor. No, thank you very much. I've traveled this far single. Guess I'll travel the same to the finish. you ever had. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You in there! Come on out with your hands up. Say, there used to be a saying in Dodge City, the left hand is damned. Perhaps that began to be said when what you've just seen happened, as it really did back when the West was wild. Next week, another true story of life and death on the old frontier. See you then. <laughs>